Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today it's still wet and rainy and a lot of snow out there, kind of cold, so we wanted to show you inside our greenhouse an update of what's going on. I know, this is kind of a perfect day to come inside, but mm -hmm. still be in the garden because like Sean said, it's cold outside and it's slushy and it's just a weird day. So we have a lot going on in the greenhouse. We have probably some work we need to do. We've got some watering to do, but we wanted to show you, yeah, what's going on. All right guys, here we are. We're in the greenhouse. There's the bed with that heating mat on it. We got our, there's our geraniums were overwintering right oh, there in yeah. that pot. It's starting and then to grow. We've got seedlings coming up. Woo! Woo got a lot so, of seedlings to start thinning Super exciting, guys. Super exciting. And so uh, you might have noticed we put plastic wrap, saran wrap over this guy right here, this uh, the seed tray. That was from yesterday's video that we showed three garden hacks to improve your seed germination. So go ahead and check that out if you want to know more about that. And then we've got, and we've got uh, our workbench area. Workbench, kind of full. Running it's out kind of, of a mess, you guys. I know, we really are. We got some more soil at the local store because we were out. Um, yeah, let's, I don't know. We've got a lot to show you in here specifically. So we thought we would, as we're checking on things and watering, we thought we'd show you what we're growing. Um, we, we do have videos for all of these things as well. So just at any point, if you have any questions, just drop them down below in the, the comments. So guys, first thing you want to do when you come to the greenhouse is check everything to see if it needs any water, right? So here we go. We got our uh, watering can and we're just going to nicely give some water over these guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of water. Stuff. Yep. Lots of water going on here. And as you can see, everything's looking really good. Yeah, we got a lot coming up here. This is so cool, we you do. guys. Look how tall these are getting. Nice. Can't go wrong with growing sweet peas. Now we already watered th this tray and then we covered it and that was yesterday, but um, this is a blend of coneflowers and delphiniums. Mm -hmm. So coneflowers growing from seed usually take a while to germinate. Plus it's a little cooler out. So we're like Sean said, we, we put this over the top to really help um, help them germinate faster. Yeah, they kind of take a little bit longer, guys. So where are we here? We're over on the cuttings. Well, we're over here in the cuttings. I'm doing the uh, the weight test. The pickup and how much does it weigh kind of test. So after you do this for a number of years, you can kind of figure out if something needs water. If it doesn't, just by how much how much it weighs there. So most of these are doing okay, and we got some attrition going on here, but that's all part of the I know part of the cuttings game here. I have to say I'm kind of bummed. We took a lot of cuttings last summer and fall, and for the most part, I mean, while he's finishing the water over here, I'll show you. We've got um, Hot Lips Salvia is doing awesome. Look at that, you guys. This is a lavender. We've got a really a couple other really healthy lavenders here. So uh, what else do we have? We've got a rosemary. Eh, this one's not doing so well. So we'll see if we can bring that back. This is a lavender that kind of, kind of not doing so well either. We've got some geraniums here that are looking pretty good. Got fuchsias everywhere. Those did really well. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of fuchsias. Yep, good success with those. And geraniums in this pot. Now we had an aphid problem in here, which I don't know if you guys caught that video where we talked about that, but um, we all of a sudden realized the aphids were attacking our geraniums and our little bit on the fuchsia mm -hmm. and then the hydrangeas, mm -hmm. right? They were almost everywhere. So yeah, if you don't know, aphids have like a little, that their mouths are modified. They have little needles for mouths and they actually go up, stick their mouth needles into the plants, usually on the other side of the leaves and new tissue. And they inject like their saliva in there. It kind of breaks down the plant tissue and then they suck it back up. So that's a lot of times if you have aphids on your plants, that's why they look like they're crinkled. It's a plant's response to when that, when they get their, uh, that saliva from the aphid in there and suck back out, they just kind of get crinkly. That's why. Mm. Such a bummer. Yep. And how weird we had aphids in January. I mean, it's a greenhouse though. Yeah, and that's we, true. We, we think we brought them in from one of the plants we bought this fall from, uh, from a nursery. Right. And you know, you really never know. You just got to be on top of things, be vigilant. And if you see it happen, if you see the aphids or something else come in, you got to take care of it. And so we did our best and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna see how everything does. I know. And I think so. we got the majority of the, the outbreak, I guess. What we usually do is we would come out here every day and just check under the leaves. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a solution of spray made up that we just... Yeah, it's, it's hand soap. It's like one, one part hand soap to uh, 10 parts water. And you just spray that on after you mix it up. And it works pretty well. 
Uh, the thing to worry about though is if you have some of these, like some of these plants have really herbaceous, um, fleshy leaves, especially the new growth, you spray that uh, soap and water concoction on there to take care of the aphids, it's also gonna dry out and have an effect on the leaves too, and they're gonna get a little crinkly. So just word of the wise, if you use that, expect to see that on your plants. I know. Well guys, um, with talking about all that, we've got our birch cuttings out here. These are actually, I think these are our actual first hardwood cuttings that we took, like actual hard hardwood cuttings from a tree. And these are in here and there's a little bit of resistance there, guys. Our water cuttings are inside. We didn't want the water to freeze over the snap. So mm -hmm. they haven't produced any roots yet. But what do you think here? I know, these are, these are actually, some of these have roots. Also, guys, we've got our African daisy here. Look at all that new growth. Oh my gosh, you know, yay. It's got this new growth down here close to its crown, but it's also got healthy new growth up top. So in between some of this, you can see we've got this crinkly piece, this whole piece yeah, actually, and I'm seeing it now. Out. That's dead. We can cut that out. We can cut that out. So basically what's alive in here are these green pieces. And wow, that's interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, pretty cool. You know, cool. we weren't sure what would happen. And if you've been watching, you probably heard us talk about this, but our African daisies are, we're just on the cusp of the hardiness for this mm -hmm. plant. It's um, nine, I believe, mm -hmm. is the- We're pushing the limit a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we're in 8B. Just a little bit, but we've got a couple out in the front yard and even right before the snow, they were looking pretty good. They were almost looking just as good as this one. So, and this one's been in here pretty much almost the whole, definitely the whole winter and part of the fall when it really got cold. So yeah, it's interesting to see. We, we don't know what to expect with the ones out front. I know, I'm kind of nervous so. with the snow, but I guess we'll find out. Here's yep. another hot lips, you guys, yay. So if I could plan around, um, one thing that was cool is we built this, or we, Sean, built this shelf down here. Um, this has been a great space saver for us, and we're actually going to continue it around. You've probably heard us talk about this already. Mm -hmm. So that's on the horizon, and it's working out pretty well. Yeah. Um, once we get some, uh, once we get our our trays set up with some more soil, and we can get some seeds going, the seeds we already showed you, they started all down here. They did. Even in this colder, cooler weather. So I mean, these are all cold season crops anyway. So they're good to go in this weather but we'll we're gonna set up and fill up this whole bench in probably about a week, another week or two because we want to get that succession plantings those succession plantings going and so. by the way we don't keep our seeds here <clears throat> oh, we're yeah. just setting in there for a minute because we are out of room up top mm. so real quick um we want to show you this this is cool so like sean mentioned we overwintered our geraniums in here and they're all coming back now i found green on this one where is it oh it's right there it's yep. really small <clears throat> so we're super excited. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful um, arrangement of three different geranium plants. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, what do we have? Should we show them what seedlings we have? Yeah, sure. So right here, we've got spinach. All these guys are right here. And they're, they're looking pretty good. So after that, we've got a rouge de beer, and I've been coached. Uh, rouge de beer. Oh, I, I need more coaching. Sorry, guys. Um, I can't pronounce French Winter very well. Winter red en français. Ooh, look, hey. look at her, hey. everybody. Wow, cool. So those guys are looking pretty good. We just watered them. That's why they're laying over. So they'll be fine. They'll right themselves. Those in a look pretty bit. good. I know. <clears throat> and we just showed you, we covered this tray um, for the delphiniums on this side and then the cone flowers. The cone flowers here. And yeah, so they haven't popped up yet, but we know they've got a little bit longer of a germination uh, before they germinate there. So that's cool. So we'll keep those, keep on top of those. This whole tray. Is this? These are all mustard, all mustard. greens. Yep. I know. Oh my gosh. Yep. These are all mustard, you guys. Yay. We got a lot we of mustard plants. Sean and I love mustard <clears throat> greens. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. And, and by the way, um, when we get ready to transplant these, which will be fairly soon, we're developing something new to help with transplanting seedlings, like under these conditions that are super, super close together. And um, this new tool is basically going to help you pull these apart in the best way possible and not damage them. So more to come on that. We're still developing that, but it's super cool. Really excited about it. So I um, wanted to tell you about that. Okay, so over here, hey, there's some mustard seed volunteers over Whoops. here. I guess I guess one of us, meaning me, probably uh, <laughs> probably been. dumped these seeds over here on uh, on accident. These guys are supposed to be- These are uh, snapdragons on this prince. on this end. Yep, these are all supposed to be snapdragons. Oh, we got a couple. I know. Or wait a minute, are those mustard? Well, I don't know. Those <laughs> might be mustard, but we definitely have snapdragons coming up. Oh, everywhere. there you go. Yep. They're they were really tiny. tiny. Seeds. Yep. Look at how many there are in there. 
So. Yep. And now we've got sweet peas. I know. Look at these it. are super cool. Look at these guys. This has just been the last couple of days, guys. These are shot up. Look at that one. I know. It's huge. So that is so. You guys, we haven't um, sown any more flower seeds yet. Nope. So we need to get on that. We've got some food. We've got gourmet lettuce right here. This whole tray going to be eating That's really good awesome. here in a little bit. And then, of course, radishes and then uh, Swiss chard. So yep. and they're uh, definitely the radishes are coming up and the Swiss chard are now really starting to poke up. So you know what? Let's go outside and check our winter jugs. Oh, yeah, totally. Forgot yeah. about that. OK, guys, we're and, outside now. Yeah, Let's we go. haven't checked these yet. I mean, I've kind of peaked a little bit and I don't think much has changed. But um, if you watch this episode, we have our winter jugs right here. We, and you know what? After all that, we forgot to mark a couple of them. Oops. So I remember what we did. I just don't remember which ones they are. So this one does have a tag inside. These are cone flowers, and they have not popped up yet. So that's kind of to be expected. It's only been, what, maybe a week? Yeah, about a week. So yeah. hopefully we'll see something soon in those. Mm -hmm. Now this, let's see what we have in here. Of course, there's no tag, so this is probably the straw flowers. And I'm not seeing anything in there. Can you guys see that? There's snow. There's snow. <laughs> there is a tag in here. It's on the side. I can't see it. Now these, I remember, are the poppies. We grew um, amazing gray poppies, which we also have sowed. We fall sowed out in the landscape. So we're still, um, I think we found a couple of them popping up already. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we think cool. we did. Yeah. Don't see anything in there yet. You guys see anything? I don't see anything. Okay. All right. So last one we have, um, there is a tag in here, yay. So these are the cherry brandy rudbeckia. Well, you guys see anything in there no, yet? No, nope, not really yet, but we are very hopeful it's going to happen. I know. It's kind of like we sowed these and then the rain's fine, but then we got some snow. And as you can see, it's totally melting all around us. So we're, um, we're expecting to see these soon. It's, um, you know, they should be popping out of the ground. They're going to be nice and hearty because they're germinating outside in the winter. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yep, we got them next to the greenhouse and full sun when the sun comes out. And that's kind of a wrap for today, you guys. Um, as you can see, we're outside. It is raining on us, but it's not too bad. Not bad. But it's always fun to check in, and um, we just try to make sure we're scheduled with our greenhouse so we don't forget to get out here and water and check on things. Sometimes we forget. Because it happens. Yeah, we get busy, just like you guys. So, But hey, leave any comments or questions down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And thank you for watching, you guys. We'll be back tomorrow with our next um, garden care video, so come on by to see what we're up to. Yep. Have see a you tomorrow, great everybody. day, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.